Hey, hey. Uh, David Bentley here from Froggy Fly Software. Uh, super excited about this. We've got a gravity stripe add-on that a lot of people have been asking about. And uh, it's even got a feature that uh, people ask for all the time just for the stripe add-on. And that is being able to end a subscription automatically after a certain period of time or on a date. Um, but I'm going to go through this whole thing. It's called the start and end date add-on for gravity stripe. And let's go ahead without further ado and get into this. Uh, oh, before I do begin, you can get this uh, by going into your account. Once you've got Gravity Stripe, go into account on the left-hand side, add-ons, and you'll see it here. All right, you can also go to add-ons to get to the screen. And you can also go over to Gravity Stripe and look under add-ons. And we've got it here. So you can go to either of those places to grab this awesome plugin. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this. So I'm gonna go into forms to get started. I've already got a duplicate form that I've created in here and I've already got the uh, start and end date add-on also added to the website. So now if you go under settings and gravity stripe settings, if you scroll all the way down, you will see an option that looks something like this. Start end date settings, field type, select one, all right? Now, if you uh, want to go ahead and, and select both, well, for the purpose of this demo, I'll select both, but I'll show how each one of these works independently. All right, so I've got both. My ending type, actually, let's do start date only to begin with. All right, so I'm going to do uh, my start date only to begin with, just so you can get the full effect of this. So once I choose my start date, I'm going to go into edit mode. And what this will give you is a, another option over here on the right-hand side that says Gravity Stripe. Click that, and you'll see a date field. Drag that anywhere you'd like into your form, and then you're going to give it a title. So for this particular form, uh, this is going to be a summer camp that I'm holding. So I'm going to do my, my uh, field label as uh, summer camp start date. These are not summer camp dates, so we're just going to go ahead and push these into June. So I've got a camp that starts June 1st. I've got a camp that starts uh, June, let's do June 15th. And then I've got a camp that starts June 28th. All right, those are my three summer camp options. And I'm going to click update. You don't have to choose multiple. You could just choose one if you wanted to as well. All right. So now if we preview this form, what will happen is when a, uh, a parent chooses the camp start date, they'll fill out the form. And this $10 charge will then be charged on that date, okay, on the start date. Now, in order to make this work, we also have to go into our Stripe settings and make sure that we've created our feed for this particular uh, start date. So I'm going to click on it. edit. And if you don't have one here, it's going to be add new. Okay. So I've got uh, my name, camp payment. My transaction is going to be a subscription. You can uh, give it a name if you want or choose one of your fields. Uh, to give it a name billing cycle we're going to do every one week so it will bill them the first one on that date and let's say the the summer camp you know i'm going to bill them uh, or charge them weekly this thing is just going to automatically charge them every week after that first subscription payment uh, you can also set up if you have a registration fee you could go ahead and do a registration fee Right here, you need to make sure that you do add a product field into the website that says something like registration fee. I'm not going to have one because I'm I'm running an awesome camp. And then uh, down from there, you'll connect it with your uh, whatever Stripe account you've got, and then you can also fill in uh, these details as well: your email description, uh, if there's coupon options, and then some of the other stuff that you can collect here as well. If you don't know anything about this, the only one that's required is email, so make sure you have an email field. Okay, 
Now here's the uh, meat and potatoes of the start date settings. You want to make sure that you enable the start date here in your Stripe feed. And then you've just got to select that start date field that we added. So I called it the summer camp start date. And there it is. And I'll update my settings. So now we've got it all set up. Somebody pays. Somebody chooses a camp date. They pay. Boom, it fires into Stripe. It tells Stripe, Stripe on uh, the date that this person chose. We're going to go ahead and bill them or charge them for that uh, that camp fee. And then we are going to bill them or charge them weekly thereafter. All right. But camp only lasts for two weeks. So we don't want to bill them you know, or, or charge them indefinitely. And we also don't want to go in there and have to cancel uh, or turn off that subscription manually through Stripe. So that introduces us to the end date part of this add-on. So I'm going to go ahead and click both here this time. My ending type is going to be, in this particular case, is after a certain number of payments are made. Now remember I said that camp runs for two weeks. So we really only want to charge them for each week of camp. So we're going to charge them on that first date when it starts. And then we're going to uh, charge them a week later. And that's going to be the last charge. The subscription will cut off automatically thereafter. So we'll go back into our Stripe settings for this. Click edit on the feed. And now we'll jump back down here. And now we see we have Gravity Forms end date settings. All right, so I need to enable that just like I did for the start date. And this is really simple. Hey, how many payments do you want them to make before the subscription turns off? Well, it's two weeks. So we're going to have two payments, update settings, and you are good to go. That's all you got to do. All right. So uh, just to recap here, we've got our camp. Here's our available start dates for camp. Going back to the back end, um, they're going to choose a date that they want to begin camp on and also begin their payment on. We don't have a setup fee or a registration fee, but we are going to be billing every week of camp starting on that first date. And then we are assigning that here for a subscription start date. And then we are going to do a total of two payments because camp is two weeks long. Update settings and you're good to go. Other options that you have within Gravity Stripe for the end date is you could do a term limit. So if we go back to this again, let's go to our Stripe settings and back into the feed. So this is now going to give us an option to select a duration, right? So I'm actually for this, and this wouldn't be the, the most suitable option, obviously, but I'm going to say, hey, after two weeks, we are going to end this. Update the settings. And then our last one, which I wouldn't use for this particular uh, uh, example that I'm talking about, but for this ending type, just like the start date, we're actually going to select a date. So I'm going to update those settings. And what I will first need to do is jump back into the front end of the form. So I've got my camp start dates. Now, again, this wouldn't make a whole lot of sense to do for summer camp, but I would just drag another one of these date selectors in set up any dates that I want to set up for my end dates and update that. Now what this is going to do is it's going to give somebody the option to say, hey, I want my camp to start June 1st or I want my whatever it is to start June 1st and I want to manually have it end on this other particular date. Okay. Um, now you can use this. There's there's different ways that you can use this. If you wanted to um, just have an end date, you can choose 
just the end date option from Gravity Stripe settings, and you could just set up an end date. So, you know, somebody pays, it doesn't matter when they pay or when they start, their end date is all going to fall on the same date that you choose. And in that case, what you would do is you would go ahead and set that particular field to hidden, update it. And then what it's going to do is it's going to end that subscription on that particular date automatically. So they could pay the day before and it's still going to end it on that date, or they could pay a year before and it's still going to end it on that date. All right. Now for camp, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But that's the way that you can uh, work it. Now inside of your uh, Stripe settings, you will need to select your end date field for your end date. So we've got Gravity Forms end date settings, and I will have to select that. Right now I didn't name it, so it's just untitled. And I'll get this updated to say end date, and I'll update it. So now I've got a subscription start date, a subscription end date, um, or you could also just choose, like I said, a uh, if you only wanted to offer an end date, I would just choose end date only and update settings. All right, that's it. That's the uh, the new add-on for Gravity Stripe, which is the start and end date add-on. I uh, hope you really enjoy it. Let me know if you have any questions or need support with it. And then uh, also, if you just got uh, another way that we can improve Gravity Stripe for your subscription management, let us know. Uh, you can go to GForms Demo. We've got live chat on there. You can also go to the Gravity Stripe dot uh, com website we've got live chat on there that's the best way to get in touch with us and we're looking forward to uh, seeing what we can create next